Hello, my name's Simon. Welcome to the DIY Tinkerer channel. If you're new here, then I hope you enjoy what's coming up next. And if you've been here before, then thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to be building a cyclone dust collection system for Henry. For this build, we're going to cut a small piece of 4x4 and we need a piece of, I'm going to use MDF and it's 12mm thick, but a piece of sheet material. This is a second hand piece of MDF that I'm going to use up. I've also got a bucket which I've bought on Amazon and not completely necessary but I've bought a couple of spare parts for Henry Hoover. These spare parts are the part here um, where, the, where the hose goes. If you're happy with taking Henry apart then you can use the parts that are on there by prising them apart so they just latch together with this little tab here. I've been busy in my workshop over the last couple of weeks. This workbench is one of the things that I've been building. What I'm going to do here is just tidy up the end of the uh, 4x4 and then I'm going to chop about 6 inches off. I need to drill a hole in this piece of wood that's the width of this here which is 49 millimeters. Now my pillar drill isn't big enough to drill it, don't have enough depth. My new workbench that I've built doesn't actually have a wood vise on it yet so I'm using the wood vise on my workmate. And to drill the hole I'm going to be using this bit and it's an adjustable bit where you can adjust the um, the radius that it's going to cut to. It's got a auger on the front so it should go in nice and nice and straight and um, this costs five pounds off of Amazon so let's see how well it works. I drilled down about 25 millimeters an inch then adjusted the size of the hole in line with the profile of the part that I'll be fitting into it. Drilling this hole was hard work. Halfway through I had to stop for an hour to allow the drill time to cool down. Using my restored bandsaw I cut the piece to the same profile as the outside radius of the bucket. and then gave the piece a coat of paint. I then fitted the plastic nozzle and trimmed it up on the bandsaw. So my Henry Hoover needs to have a little hole here where I've marked it out where the clips slide in and I want to try and preserve this edge here so that it slides into this hole and um, sits firmly and then I can use the existing fittings that um, came with the Henry Hoover. So I'll finish it off with a file. Okay so it took a little bit of fettling with a file but it works. So this is the Henry the Hoover at the moment, it comes off nice and easily and then you just push this in like you would on a Henry with his own bottom and it's stuck on there. I've only done one, haven't done the other side yet. Give you an idea of what it looks like. That's the size hole I've made. So I'll now do the same the other side and that'll be that part of the project done. cut out some circles in MDF. This would form the fine baffle, the brackets for it and an accessory tool holder. I 
I then cut the brackets and glued them up. Then using the belt sander I tidied up the parts. I then glued the brackets in place using 5 minute epoxy. Then I marked up the shape of the hole I needed and cut it out using my rotary tool. Then using more 5 minute epoxy I glued the hose adapter to the bucket. Then using a fence and stop block on my pillar drill table to keep a centre line, I drilled out the holes needed for the tool holder. The nozzle holder needed a little tidying up using a file. My initial tests revealed that despite the cyclone, very fine dust was being deposited on the HEPA filter. This dust was previously filtered out by the bag, so using some 9mm ply I cut out another baffle that I could mount a primary filter to, and I made this filter using a spare bag. This would ensure that the shop vac could go through exactly the same filtration as before, but with the added benefit of a cyclone dust extraction first. I initially drilled a single hole for the air to pass through, but this turned out to be restrictive, so I added a further six holes. OK, so hopefully this is my last test. That was a good combination of wood chippings and shavings and very fine sawdust. Let's have a look inside. So if I look inside past the HEPA filter, first thing I notice is it's completely clean inside. There's nothing at all, no dust whatsoever has got through, which is good. And the filter itself is as clean as it was beforehand. This is what it looks like inside. You can see there's the baffle inside there. To empty it, I just undo one screw here and then this comes out and I can then just empty it. So it's quite simple to empty. I'm really pleased with the accessory holder. Finding a place to store bits and pieces in a small workshop is always tricky. So having them on hand on, on Henry Hoover solves two problems. They're always available and they're also stored and out the way. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then I'd love it if you would subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.